first discovered in southeast Germany in the 1930 years, Platyosaurus was one of the earliest non-avian dinosaurs identified, though its initial fossils were fragmented and not well understood. This changed in the early 20th century when much more complete specimens were unearthed in large bone beds. Between the 1910 and 1930 years, around 80 near-complete Platyosaurus skeletons were uncovered from two quarries in Germany, quickly making it one of the most well-known dinosaur species of the time. Originally classified as a theropod, more complete fossils found in the 1920 years allowed paleontologists to reclassify it as a prosauropod, an early herbivore related to the later giant sauropods. During this time, Platyosaurus was often depicted standing upright with a kangaroo-like posture and a dragging tail, although some paleontologists, even in the 1930 years, suggested it had a sprawling, quadrupedal stance more akin to a lizard. Much of the Platyosaurus material in Germany was destroyed during World War II bombing raids, and interest in the dinosaur faded until the dinosaur renaissance. In the 70s, a third significant fossil site was discovered in Switzerland, renewing attention to the species. By the 80s, Platyosaurus was reconstructed with a more horizontal body posture and fully erect limbs. It was often seen as a transitional dinosaur between bipedal ancestors and the later quadrupedal sauropods, with some paleontologists suggesting it could walk on all fours but run on two legs like a hadrosaur. However, other studies proposed it was fully quadrupedal with a downward curling tail that prevented bipedal movement. The large numbers of skeletons found together were initially interpreted as evidence of herding behavior, suggesting that groups of Platyosaurus had been caught in mud flows. Detailed biomechanical studies in the 2000 and 2010 years helped clarify Platyosaurus posture. These studies showed that it was physically incapable of adopting a quadrupedal stance, making it purely bipedal. Skeletons mounted in quadrupedal positions had required extreme dislocations of joints to fit that pose. Additionally, by 2019, after nearly 200 years of confusing taxonomic history, the number of Platyosaurus species was reduced to just three valid species, with Platyosaurus trossingensis designated as the type species. Today, we know Platyosaurus lived in Central and Northern Europe during the late Triassic, around 214 to 204 million years ago, in a subtropical climate. It had a small head on a long, flexible neck, with teeth resembling those of modern iguanas, indicating a primarily herbivorous diet with potential for opportunistic omnivore. Its relatively short arms were well suited for grasping, equipped with large claws that may have been used to dig up roots or pull down branches. It had a rapid growth rate, bird-like lungs, and air sacs that suggest it was warm-blooded. Individual specimens showed significant variation in size and maturity, with some fully grown at about 5 meters long by age 12, while others grew up to 10 meters and were still growing at 27 years old. Contrary to early interpretations, the bone beds are no longer believed to represent mass mortalities of herds. Instead, it's thought that these areas acted like mud traps, similar to the La Brea tar pits, where smaller animals could escape but larger individuals became stuck. As of now, no skin impressions have been found for Platyosaurus, leaving it unclear whether it had scales like its later relatives, the sauropods, or if it possessed protofeather-like fuzz.